Shelfer's awful. He keeps putting the feminist studies book in the fiction section. Man, these night shifts are killing me. The heck was that? Regina, is that you? I told you, the library closes at midnight. If you want to study basket weaving, you'll have to do it some other time, yeah? Where did you come from? No label, no ISBN. I've never even heard of this author. Well, I guess you're going into the undocumented then. Hey, well, aren't you one ruthless kid? Who said that? Just trying to get your attention, and this is what you do to me? Undocumented bin. I'll undocument you, you little punk. How did... What? what? Where? Where is that voice coming from? Me! Hello! Right here, fella! Man, I gotta stop drinking this stuff. I'm just trying to... Hey, listen here. Would you... Wait, stop! Thank you! A book is talking to me. Look, I'm sorry, kid, but I need your help. My name's Cletus John Whipplebottom III, and I'm stuck in the book that I wrote, and I don't know why. Uh, a book is talking to me. Well, who else would be talking? No one's been able to hear me until you. Please, kid, will you help me figure out why I'm stuck in here? And can you tell me where I am? You're in a, in a library in Illinois. Illinois, huh? I went to a college there. Anyway, you think you can help me, kid? No way this is real. Listen, CJ. Can I call you CJ? I got finals to do, and I don't really have time to be running around with a talking book trying to figure out why you're stuck. So, uh, thank you for the offer, but that's a no. I'll be seeing you. Wait, 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 hold on. Do you know what it feels like being trapped in a book for decades and no one being able to hear you? No, and uh, I'm glad I don't have to. Kid, please, I'm begging you. I'm tired of being stuck in here and ignored. The longer I stay here, the more I forget myself. I don't want to be stuck in here forever, please? Okay, fine. I'll help. Hot dog, we got him. As long as you never say that again. I'm not a kid. My name's Sam. Alright, Sam. I'm in your hands. Like I even know how to get a soul out of a book. Don't you spirits have like a lingering regret or something? All I remember is that I was writing this book for someone. Okay. Anything else? Maybe like how you died? I do remember that. Choked on caviar and fell off my yacht back in 54. Okay. Good start. I'm gonna need more than that. Well, that's all I remember. Alright, fine. I'll research some more tomorrow, but right now, I'm too tired for this. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing there, kid? What do you think I'm doing? You're a 60-year-old dead author. Get in the bag, old man. It smells like chicken soup in here. Shush, shush. My inspiration for the work of mine is made for you. I hope it grows on YouTube. Okay, so it looks like you are a prominent author known for your fiction novels. Decently wealthy, you had a wife and kids, had the largest tower of onion rings, you liked riding in your vacation home in Illinois, however, you died a tragic death on your yacht in 54. Any of this ring a bell, bring up any regrets? Not really. Seriously? Well, maybe if we could go to the vacation home, something in my study could jog my memory. Alright, might as well try. Uh, hi. Is this the Whipplebottom Estate? It is. May I know who's asking? Um, my name's Sam, and I'm a huge fan of Cletus John Whipplebottom. I'm really into his fantasy novels, 
and I was wondering if I could see his study for an author project I'm doing. May I? Well, that's a first. I didn't think anyone still read my grandfather's works these days. CJ, I, I mean, uh, Cletus is your grandfather? Yes, he's mother's father. She never really told me much about him. Here, coming in. My name's Marie. I'll show you to his study. His place has been in the family for decades. His study has been left virtually unchanged since his passing. It's right up here. Here it is. Just call if you need anything. I'll be right around the corner. Thank you, Marie. Well, there's got to be something around here. Hey, CJ, you know where you got this pen? That pen was from my daughter. Marie's mom? Yeah, my life and joy, Catherine. Hmm. Anything else you remember about it? Yeah, I, I think I remember. My relationship with her got complicated when my son-in-law entered the picture. About a week before the yacht incident, we had an argument, which made things much worse. Because of that, I completely ignored the fact that she was actually pregnant. I went on that yacht to get away, but you know how that ended. Hey, Marie! Marie? My granddaughter? Yes, Marie. She can get this message to your daughter. You must have written it for her. I did? For Catherine? Yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot. Wait, what are you doing, Sam? Marie! 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 Yeah? Do you need anything? Yeah. I think, I think your grandfather made this for your mom. For my daughter? For my mother? Yeah, I think the message at the beginning is for her. My inspiration. I wrote this message to her. Despite everything, I wanted her to know that I still cared. He wrote this for her? He did love her. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Greg! Welcome, CJ. Hey, what's up? Oh, right, right, yeah. I'll be there in a second. I just had to help someone find something important. Yeah, okay. I'll be there soon. You guys have any food or anything? No, thanks. 